The time to break in this particular swim is going to be a tough one. The record set by Gertrude Eddeley in 1925 is a really hard record to break. I and mean, She was a fantastic swimmer in her day. She was the first woman to swim the English Channel in 1926. And not only was she the first woman, but she also broke the men's record by two hours. This swim from Battery Park to Sandy Hook is going to be a very tough challenge. The record time that was set of seven hours and 11 minutes uh, it's a very, very quick time. Gertrude Adderley uh, held 29 US and world records in her day, so she was no slouch. To get ready for a swim like this is, is very tough, both mentally and physically, and I've had to do many, many hours of training. Two hours training in the morning, another two hours training in the afternoon. The access bars help me in so many ways, but the main benefit I notice is that the recovery, after I finish a big, heavy session, I don't feel sore and tired the next day. I wouldn't be able to get through it without my access bars. I start at the back battery and I swim straight over into the buttermilk channel and I swim past the Brooklyn shoreline and then I pass under the Veranzano Narrows Bridge. Once I do that I'm out in the open lower New York Harbour and I make a big right hand turn and I swim straight to Sandy Hook. I'm hoping to do this in under 7 hours and 11 minutes so fingers crossed. I think I might do it in about five and a half, six hours. sort of um, interrupted me a little bit. We had a bit of an undercurrent and of course going into the shipping lanes there were some big ships out there so that was a bit scary but uh, overall it was a great day. Marathon swimmer has broken a long standing world record. It was just such a great swim, and I'm thrilled to be here. I've been training for it for a long time, so um, to finally make it to Sandy Hook is just awesome five hours and I think it was seven minutes so <laughs> what time is it in Australia now it's three o'clock in the morning in Australia my mum's been up waiting it's inscribed Tammy Van Lisa world record swim from the battery to Sandy Hook July 21, so I guess we had to do it today. <laughs> 2006. All right. I can't believe that I've smashed two hours off the record. That's really, really exciting. And it's just fantastic. I mean, I thought I might go five and a half hours, but to just, you know, go close to the five hour mark. And of course, now I'm thinking, oh, if only I'd kick that little bit harder, I might have been able to go under five hours. Tim certainly had it. He predicted that I may go five hours and he was pretty close to that. I, I was skeptical. I was sort of in my mind thinking, well, don't think about five hours, just in case you go six or seven. The access bars helped me really keep my stroke rate up really, really high. I started off at 89 strokes. Pretty much managed to maintain that the whole way during the swim. Tammy discovered the access bar. We didn't discover Tammy. And she's been using the access bar for how long now? 
I've actually been using the access bar for 10 years. I think it's so important to believe in your dreams, no matter how big or how small they are. And if you're prepared to work hard enough, you can make anything come true. You can turn the impossible into the possible. As you can see, I feel fantastic. I'm thinking about swimming back again. <laughs>